I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. I've been away for a bit, pretty busy, but I want to do this quick Inkscape tutorial on how to add a distressed texture to a PNG image. I had a question in the comments specifically on how to do this, so it's pretty easy. I do it a lot, and we'll start by just grabbing a PNG, transparent background from rawpixel.com. I'll have the link in the comments, and you can do different methods on how to add distress. This method we're going to use utilizes the masking feature in Inkscape. It's pretty easy. You want to go grab some type of, I'll have this link in the description below as well, some type of texture. This looks like some type of granite. You want to find something that has high contrast. So these little black lines, we're going to actually extract them with trace bitmap. If you've never used trace bitmap, it's up here. Go to path, trace bitmap. And what it does, it says with the image that you imported, it's going to say, I'm going to do on a single scan that if the detection mode is brightness cut off, it says, I will take out whatever the dark portions are based on this threshold. So you can slide it. And if you do a, a lesser threshold, it'll grab less of the darkness. See here in the preview. And if you add a higher threshold, you can see you'll be pulling out more. This is in its simplest form why Inkscape is so great. It's a vector program, and it's going to create little nodes based on whatever we tell it to do. I think this looks good. The default setting is just 0.45. So you're on detection mode, brightness cutoff, 0.45 threshold, speckles, smooth corners, optimize, all good. Down here, apply. Think for like one second, and this is what we grabbed. You see? If you double click on anything, it'll create, it'll show you all the nodes. And I've had lots of tutorials before this that'll explain what the nodes are, but if it's your first time, basically you just made your own vector of the texture we want to do. Off screen, I sized it down so it fits our PNG. You can use these arrows if you're on selector tool to flip it around so you can put the distress over the areas you want. I actually think we need more distress, so I'll do control D, which duplicates it, and then I'll flip the arrow. You see how that just, you see what's happening there? It's taking the duplicated layer and I'm flipping it so I have more distress. Why don't we flip it this way too? That's good. I'll pull my PNG out of the way because we now need to make the mask. We need all of this distressed texture to be the same group. So just click and drag over everything. Control G will group it. And let's make a rectangle right here with the rectangle tool make it white. It's very important that it's solid white with no transparency. And watch this trick. Click on your texture, go to edit, copy, click on your white rectangle you made in half a second, edit, paste, paste size. And it actually made the exact same height and width. Drop it down a layer. And you don't have to make it perfect like this, but I'm trying to make it super simple and clean. Select all of that, control G, and this is our mask. A mask in Inkscape will keep whatever's white and will delete or remove whatever is black. That's all you need to know. Let's put it on top here. And I'll open up my fill and stroke menu. So go to object fill and stroke because I want this opacity slider. If I have the top mask selected, if I cut it to 50%, now I can decide where I want to put my distress. Turn off snapping there. For this example, let's just put it right there. Okay, important masks in Inkscape do take into account transparency. So put your opacity all the way back. Click off of it, zoom out a little bit because you have to gather everything for the mask to work. So I'll click and drag way out of the bounds and I see there's my mask and that PNG had a transparent background. If you don't grab the whole PNG, then Inkscape won't know what you're trying to mask. So right now I can tell I have everything selected. I go to object, mask, set mask. <laughs> there it is. See your distress. The best part about Inkscape is it's a non-destructive tool. So let's say you didn't like that. 
you want to do it again, move it or something, all you have to do is go back to, you could do control Z undo, I know, or you could go back to later on if you want to change your mind way later, object, mask, release mask. See, that's the quick version. You could also try an inverse mask without the white background. Sometimes it doesn't work with a PNG. It's also a little bit more confusing for a simple tutorial like this, but you can do it, have fun, and we'll see you next time.